Giancarlo Stanton joins us nice. on the Michael K Show. Giancarlo, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you today? Hey, what's up, guys? I'm good. How are you guys? We're doing great. I, I was amazed on Friday night. You hit the second home run and you broke the bat. How often does that happen? <laughs> um, uh, I, I had a few of those in the minor leagues, but uh, I, I don't think so in the big leagues just yet. <laughs> I just love the fact that you looked at it first and then just flipped away. It had a certain dra drama to it. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard that Didi had the best shot of it. He even told Aaron, everybody kept telling Aaron Boone, Didi, who was serving as a photographer, had the best shot, and everybody was raving about, you got to get the picture from him. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, he said he, he had a perfect, the way you looked down at the bat and kind of sneered at it. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I got to hit him up. You know, uh, a, a year removed from, from the opener last year, you know, you come to New York and you, you struggled early on. Uh, when you look back at it now, how, how much stronger did that make you as a ball player? Uh, it was great for me. I mean, all uh, all up and downs, you got to learn from them and, and um, just get better from them. So I think that was a good um, uh, thing to go through, um, and uh, it's going to lead into this this season right now. You know, so many people, you know, I, I talked to you for the the Yes Network interview we did. They, they talk about, well, the second year in New York, getting acclimated, but you brought up something that was really interesting to me, that that's the first time last year that you really got a chance to, to look at these pitchers a lot. I know there's interleague play, but not exclusively are you facing American League pitchers. How much of an advantage is that going to be this year, that you know how teams are going to pitch you? Uh, big time for me. I mean, the, you you have an idea of their game plan, but if you have the the years and and reps under your belt of how they uh, approach you, um, you know, you can you can have that much better of a plan. So, um, I'm looking forward to it. All right, and then getting a taste of the postseason for the first time. What was that like, and how can you use that to motivate you this season? That was unreal. Um, that was like no experience I've had. So. Um, to just the buzz in there, especially in New York, it, it was crazy, um, and just can't wait to get back. Um, and, and it was good. It was good to get a little taste, and um, you know, now we got to solidify it this year. What are you looking to do this year? I, I mean, it's it's almost unfair to you. You win the National League MVP the last year with the Marlins, and you had 38 and 100 last year. And a lot of people said, "Well, that wasn't a great year." That's a great year for a lot of people. Do you think the same way? Because you put up 59 and you won the MVP, that that's that's what Giancarlo Stanton should be doing? Uh, no, I mean, uh, I, I just based the years on on how was how did I help the team? How many how many wins did I help the team? How many uh, how was I in situation my situational hitting, etc. I, I don't really uh, go at the the final number. It's just how how many how often have I helped the team win is is the main is my main goal. You know, Michael talked about the adjustment from the American League to the National League. What are some of the things besides, I guess, the, not seeing the pitchers as often? Is there any different style? Is there any huge differences that we maybe don't notice from league to league? Um, no, not much. I mean, the, the pitchers usually have a book on guys. They're going to approach them the same way. Um, you know, that you have previous to get them out, you know, until you make an adjustment and you, it's like a, the adjustment game. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I, I couldn't pinpoint a, a big difference from those. It, it's come up a couple times on the show recently just because of conversations we were having about baseball and the injury that you suffered when you were hit by a pitch in the face. As someone who was always scared of being hit, I mean, the reason I was a terrible baseball player is I was constantly scared of being hit by the ball. How, how difficult, take us through that, how difficult was it to come back and start staring down the nose of 99, 99-hundred-mile-an-hour fastballs again? Um, well, uh, when the first couple of days out of it, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know where my mind is going to be um, when I get there. And then, you know, I had some time just to develop how, how am I going to, what, what's the best approach to this? So for me, it was just there's no, it was kind of like um, in the minor leagues, like there's no, failure is not an option. That's what you have to go every day. Like, I'm going to get better. I'm going to make it to the big leagues. I'm going to do what I can to get there. Failure is just no, there's no route. That's not a route. So for me, it was like being scared in the box, being nervous to get hit again. Um, it doesn't matter. Like, there's no, you, you're you not going to be successful if that's in the back of your head. Does the, fa does the face guard help? Does it give you a little bit of extra confidence to not worry about it? Um, 
Yeah, it does. I mean, I still feel it, I won't I won't shatter my jaw, I'll just break it. Right. So I, I guess there's a little bit. That's positive. You know, you yeah. know what's also unusual, Giancarlo, a, a, a factor that a lot of people don't really look at. You you played your whole career in Miami, either indoors or outdoors, where the weather was warm at the beginning of the season. Was the cold weather at the beginning of the season last year a factor for you? Um, uh, I, I, I'm not fond of the cold, playing the cold, but I, I don't, uh, I, I, I don't attest that to, to performance. I okay. Don't, right. I, yeah, we're all out there. We all got the same, uh, got to play in it, so I'm not worried about that. It's supposed to be 52 and sunny Thursday, so that's a good thing. That's cold. Th that's amazing. You <laughs> 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 yeah. to keep your It's not 25. Uh, I get uh, it. Yeah, it's not 25. You know, Giancarlo, there's very few organizations in all of sports where the expectation is... World Series or bust, right? So you feel the pressure of going out there having to win every day. Can you still have fun? Can it still be enjoyable to play in that kind of bright light and that kind of pressure? You have to have fun. There's that's that's part of it. Um, you you understand what we need to do and expectations. But if you don't if you don't throw some fun in there, then then what is it? You know you don't want it all all just uh, business business and work. You know you gotta enjoy yourself um, and have some fun um, while you're during the process. Final thing, I don't, I don't think anybody's asked you this, so I'll be the first one. You are always a $325 million man, the highest pay player. Is it kind of a relief that, you know, that's been passed by Harper and Trout, that now you don't have to be on the top of that list every time they show it on SportsCenter or every time they show it on Fox now? You're just Giancarlo Stanton. Um, I, I didn't really worry about that. To be honest, being on top or be getting beat uh, with the record or whatever, I, di I didn't really care about that. I, n I figured it was going to get beat mm -hmm. um, eventually, and um, I, I wasn't worried about it. But, yeah, it is good. Um, more power to them, and, yeah, don't got to be on top. I'll tell you what, though. Your record lasts a lot longer than Harper's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's been a long time, but do people still accidentally call you Mike? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't let them. Just, just walk right. away. Don't even answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't respond. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you Thursday, Giancarlo. Thank you so much for coming on. All right. Sounds good.